I remember being in the midst of a dark forest on a cold night. The moonlight was obscured by the thick branches of the trees, making the atmosphere even more eerie. I couldn't help but feel a sense of unease in every step of the way, like as if my next step would lead to my demise, or like any moment now, another worldly creature would emerge from the darkness and attack me. Unfortunately, my fear came true when suddenly I heard behind me the sound of crunching leaves. I quickly spun around, but there was no one there. Immediately after that, I started to hear faint whispers coming from the trees around me. They were getting louder and louder, to the point that in the end, I was crouched covering my ears trying to protect them from the terrible screeching screams that felt as if people were shouting right next to me. All of a sudden, the screams disappeared and replaced by a deathly silence. I stood up and started to look around frantically in case I was able to find a light or something that will give me hope. But I had no luck. Everywhere I looked, was the same dense forest. I started to run. My heart was pounding it in my chest as new noises now were coming from behind me. Terrible, low, guttural growls seemed to be following me as if an unknown monstrous beast was after me. Suddenly I tripped on a root and fell on the ground. I was panicking and trying to find the strength and courage to stand up and continue running while the growls were coming closer and closer. It's here. It got me. I thought, feeling a hot breeze surrounding me, together with a disgusting mixture of guttural, mouth slurping and teeth clicking sounds that felt as if I was already eaten by the beast. I closed my eyes and everything stopped. I was still sobbing in agony when I managed to open my eyes again. To my surprise, in front of me was a small child looking at me. I couldn't see that well in the darkness, so I managed to find the courage and approach the child a bit closer. It was me. The child was me when I was a child. It was looking at me with the same curious gaze I used to have when something caught my imagination. Somehow, I stopped having the same feelings as before, and now I was feeling the need to get closer and try to speak to my younger self. And so I did. I got closer, trying to calm down before I tried to speak. The moment I opened my mouth and the first word was ready to come out, the eyes of the child became blood red. The terror I felt earlier returned to me now as I was witnessing the transformation of the child to a huge demon-like creature. I was frozen when I heard my younger self's distorted voice through the mouth of that monster saying one word while it was raising its huge spike-like claws ready to attack me. Liar. I screamed as loud as I could and closed my eyes as the claws of the monster were about to run through my flesh. When I opened them back, I was in my bed, drenched in cold sweat and still feeling my heart ready to explode in my chest. I let out a sigh of relief. It was all just a dream. I got up and went to the bathroom to wash my face and drink some water. Then, I returned back to my bed feeling much better. I lay down and closed my eyes, trying to relax and fall asleep again, but in vain. The dream was too vivid for me to fall asleep immediately. So I decided to open my eyes again and watch something on my phone to help me forget. The moment I opened my eyes, I was back again in the same dark forest.